Hey, what's going on guys? So we are back here again at the Fort Worth Zoo for part two of our tour here at the Fort Worth Zoo. I am with Kat Aaliyah. Hi guys. And this is now our second collab on mm -hmm. this channel. So where we left off last week, we're gonna continue on with this week with our tour of the Fort Worth Zoo. It's been great so far. It has been awesome. There is so much to see here that of course we could not fit it into one video. So we are gonna continue with our tour of the Fort Worth Zoo. If you guys are planning a trip to the Fort Worth Zoo and wondering what you can expect to see, this is it. <laughs> Look at how cool this place is. We've got like Savannah Grill restaurants, Savannah Grill something, Safari Traders, Catalia. This place has everything. All right, we are heading into Raptor Canyon. Do you think they mean the dinosaurs or the birds? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Okay, because good. it's all the same thing. Good, good, good. <laughs> yes, good. So these are the king vultures, and these are the second largest vulture in the Western Hemisphere. They have the most colorful heads of any vultures. What's interesting about these vultures is that they lay one egg at a time, and they lay it right on the ground. They don't make a nest. And both parents share in rearing the chick. Look at this guys, this bird is totally bonded with me, totally following me around, and I'll prove it. Come on buddy, let's walk this way. Come on, come on, come over here. Oh, oh you did it for their cameras, <laughs> but you're not doing it for my camera. Come on buddy, let's go this way. Come on, come on. Oh, now, see now he's wised up. Now he knows that I don't have food for him. Eh. All right, you have totally embarrassed me, buddy. But if you want to see what actually happened, go to Kat's video over <laughs> here. She got it all. I did, and it was adorable. It was adorable. He was hopping to keep up with me. All right, see, I told you, now he's coming. Come on, buddy. Come on. Such a cute bird. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, should we go to the mola? Uh, or should we just skip the reptiles? Art, reptiles, amphibians, and more. I don't think that sounds very interesting Yeah, to let's me. go on. <laughs> I like we're gonna skip the reptiles. Here we go. So reptiles are often called living art because they're so beautiful, so colorful. They really are living art. So for the reptile house here to be called the Museum of Living Art, man, there is no better name than that. And we are going in. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. So right over here is the saltwater crocodile, and right over there are the gharials. But here's a little tip when you come to this zoo. If you want to get a really good look at these guys, go inside the cafe. Okay, look at this. This is the coolest cafe I've ever seen in any zoo. You can sit here and get your munchies and your drink right next to the aquarium. But the coolest thing about this is this is the best view of the gharials in the zoo. Look at these guys. And then over here, you get a really good view of the salty. All right, once you've gone through the cafe and seen the huge crocodilians, look at these handles. Man, I want these for my house. Then you go right inside the mola. 
where we see a wild Catalia. I belong in there. That is super cool. Thank um, you. <laughs> cat? Uh-huh. Rub it. Rub it. Okay, this place is cool. Look at this. Look at all these enclosures. Look at the way it's designed. Man, there is some cool stuff to be seen in here. That is a really good looking normal Burmese python. And look at this enclosure it has. And then down here, we've got a waggler's viper. All right, we haven't even been in here for more than three seconds. I'm already geeking out. They've got tentacled snakes down here. I don't know that I've ever seen these in a zoo before, but I found these in the wild in Thailand. These are amazing snakes. And up here, they've got a Chinese crocodile lizard. Okay, um, I just need to spend about 10 more minutes on these two enclosures, and then we'll move on. Man, I am geeking out. They have a Fiji iguana. Wow. And then the female is up there. Did you think you were going to see it? No. I didn't. How much you like Wow. So this is a Fiji banded iguana. This is definitely a close thing. This is why I want to go to Fiji is to find these. Are we geeking out in here? Yeah. I am totally geeking out in here. And look at it. There's the entrance. And we have the whole rest of the reptile house to see in here. We should have filmed an entire video just on this reptile house. This is gonna take this place all day. Is awesome. Because we're gonna spend all day in here. All right, what did you find over here, Kat? Arowana. Ooh. Look at this cool display, though. I mean, this is just awesome. Those guys were looking really hard to find the animal in here. <laughs> Jace, what have we found? We have found the king cobra. And that's exactly what you wanted to see here, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Let us see this beautiful Ophiophagus hana. And it is a Malaysian. And then we had into the flooded forest. Look at these enclosures. Man, I want this in my house. Look at the size of this Paku. That Paku is insanely huge. Huge. You didn't see that? No. And then a whole tree full of caiman lizards. I'm so ready for people to start producing these in captivity on a regular basis. For real. They are such impressive lizards. So the really cool thing about this reptile house is once you think you've seen it, you come out here and there's another room over there and another room over there. There's so much to see in here. All right, so in this room are all the reptiles that live in montane environments. That means up in the mountains. And they have Mexican alligator lizards. Oh, these are so cool. Okay, now I am really geeking out. They have a Santa Catalina Island rattlesnake. Look at that. So when I was on the island of Santa Catalina, we found these under almost every bush. These are rattlesnakes that have degenerated their rattles. And of course, this one's sitting on it, so we can't see it very well. But these are rattleless rattlesnakes, and they are only found on the island of Santa Catalina in the Gulf of California in Mexico. I haven't seen one of these since I was on that island. These are one of my favorite rattlesnakes on the planet. And they come in this form, which is called the light form, and they also come in a dark form, which is more dark grays and browns. These are awesome rattlesnakes. So zoos often rightfully boast about their conservation efforts, and you might wonder, well, what are those conservation efforts? Those efforts are right behind me. There is a fungus in Central America called the chytrid fungus, and it is wiping out amphibian populations from Mexico down to South America. 
Well, that chytrid fungus almost made these frogs completely extinct in the wild. So zoos around the world went down to Panama and collected every single one of these frogs and now are keeping them in zoos around the world to keep them from becoming completely extinct. Once the chytrid fungus is under control, all the zoos that have these frogs in their collections will then go back down to Panama and release these frogs into the wild, thus saving the species. So the reason why these frogs aren't completely extinct in the wild is because of the conservation efforts of zoos around the world. And then as the reptile house ends, they... And then as you get to the end of this reptile house, they certainly save the best for last. The Komodo dragon. Dun 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 <laughs> Such a cool lizard. We found him. The guy. That is the scientific name. Yes, it the is. The guy. <laughs> He's so pretty. Man, Komodos. I just love Komodo dragons. I didn't realize he would be so colorful. Yeah. So yellow. Red. He has a very cool enclosure, too. He does. I want this one in my house. Right? I want them all in my house. Yes. So guys, I've toured a lot of zoos around the world, and I gotta say, the Fort Worth Zoo is definitely worth a visit. This place is so well designed, the enclosures are well designed, it's a really cool zoo in the world. Did you have fun? I did, yeah. What was your favorite thing you saw? Definitely the Fiji. The Fiji Island Iguana, yeah. I would I would concur. But one of the things that really impresses me is the attention to detail in their enclosures and the visitor's experience. Texas Town, this is such a cool place in the world. I mean, it literally is, like a theme park inside a zoo. Really cool place. So anyway, I want to thank Catalia for joining me on this zoo tour. Uh, her links to her YouTube channel are in the description below. Check out her channel. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next animal adventure, love the planet, feed your animal obsession, and rattle on.